Hi, today I'm going to work through how to customize your view browser. The browser is sitting over here uh, to the left of your screen and um, the views are the top part where all your working drawings will be. You can also customize your sheets but today we're just going to look at how to make uh, shared parameters for customizing your views. So first we need to go to manage and um, we need to say um, uh, project para parameters and we're going to add a project parameter. Then we're going to say it's going to be a shared one. It's an instant parameter and we need to find uh, the views here. The reason why it's an uh, instance is because if you click on type uh, you can't actually um, do type for views because they are instance the way that they work. Um, then it's going to be um, we need to find a category that we want it to um, to be under, and you can choose different kinds. Depends what you would like, how to you would like to customize uh, your browser. I think that identity data uh, would be a good idea for us. Uh, the reason is because uh, the specific setting we're going to do is, for example, for a sinful file, when you have a lot of different um, people working in the same file, it's good to have your working drawings under your name and not sort of just shared under plans and sections and ceilings but so under your name you can have your plans and sections and ceilings or you can make a, um, a printing set or working folder and yeah all sorts of things so identity data is probably the right one for us we're gonna say select uh, we haven't made the parameter yet so we're gonna say uh, edit uh, we're not really editing this one we're gonna make a new group as a new um, and we can call it browser uh, the group and then we're gonna make a parameter in the group um, and we can call it uh, user is probably the most uh, logical name and we're gonna say it's a text yes and okay okay and we can see it's picked up in these gray marks here and it's under identity data and we say OK and it's user, yeah now we have added this new parameter to our set so we need to go in and click on the view all and if you click up in the properties of the views you have a few different ones to pick between you have to pick another one than all um, so we t just take discipline and then we're actually going to edit that one because you can't edit uh, the old one and we're going to go down here um, type properties and it's going to come up with this uh, folder and filters so this is where it's going to be exciting we can rename discipline um, to call it the user um, user based browser And then we're going to go into folders and we're going to call it group by user. And then we can just take family and type, uh, which makes sense for, um, for the plans and the sections. And we're not going to filter anything and say OK. So now we have a user-based browser. And you can see that we have a question mark here. And we still have the floor plans underneath. So for example, if we go into our floor plan and you click on it so you get the properties above and you say, oh, um, here in identity data, we have a new field called user. And let's take my name and we say, um, uh, this one, this is Lena's plan. And you see there'll be a new little browser head coming up down here. And it is called Lena. Then there is um, another one, um, which could be another person in the group. Um, and this person could be um, Carla. Apply. And then Carla will start getting her sit. And that way, every time you make a drawing, um, you, will, uh, you don't have to type it actually. As soon as you type and watch, you can just pick it and say apply. And if Carla also wants some um, ceiling plans, um, 
she um she will get it categorized under her own name. So there'll only be one of her and one of me and and then there will be the ones with question mark which has not yet been categorized. You can also do it with saying, oh um well actually uh this one this ceiling plan, this is going straight for printing. Um and you can say printing. This is the this is the drawing that we're gonna print. So this is not a working drawing. And then you know that this will be the one going on the sheets. <coughs> and that way you can kind of set up a whole um, system of how to generate uh, your, your browser. And uh, that's all I would like to show today. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.